Hi, Sarah. Hi. So this is your first determination of coaching structure. So how do you feel? Um, I'm very appreciative of the facility to allow me this opportunity. Um, the skill set that I learned from this experience will be very helpful in the future. Um, and I'm very proud of being able to learn all of this at an undergrad level. Great. Um, can you describe what you did in chronological order and briefly? Sure. Um, I uploaded all of the files from the Brazilian plots into the Honduras client, and then they analyzed it, and I submitted it to the server, and then uploaded the results to Analyzer, and analyzed the results multiple times to get the best uh, structure and calculation. Um, so what step took the longest? Uh, the step that takes the longest is Analyzer, um, making minor adjustments to the structure every time is time consuming. Um, it takes some patience in trying to make the structure ideal. Yeah, so in reality, probably that minor adjustment will be the longest one. So yeah, it took the longest, definitely. So um, in the course of using the tools, what feature you like the most? Um, in Analyzer, I really liked the ability to see the structure um, in NMR Sparky and then in uh, Pymol in order to see the structure like, in the space and in the spectrum. Mm -hmm. So, um, can you advise to the future Pondosa users any tips or tricks? Um, some tip. A tip that I have for future users is to learn the functions of all the programs um, before doing a run um, and then kind of doing a practice run in a way to learn what all of the buttons and all the functions do in order to be using the program to the best of your ability. Alright, thank you for helping. Thank you.